All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. Time to temper up the glass on my iPhone 16 Pro Max. So I jumped on Amazon. And I'll leave a link, of this, link to this down below. This is a four pack with uh, glass protectors for the camera modules. So you get two clear and two privacy, it says. So let's get in here and check it out. I, don't, I might not even need that. All right, yeah, good. It's even supposed to have a cage in here uh, to help you put it on, like a little frame. And I was like, they're gonna cram all this in here, four screen protectors and a cage and a module for your, for your, look, <laughs> they did it, man. They did it. Two privacy and two clear. I'm going with the privacy because my phone is black. Now I won't use these right here because I don't like this style and I already have uh, protectors over there, but you get two of these. You get your instructions or whatever. This should be fairly simple. You get your cage to, to put on here, like where you uh, put the glass in, just drop it in, which is what I like. And then, yeah, I, there's two and two. Here's two privacy and here's two clear. Wow. Yeah, they weren't playing, man. This is a good deal for eight bucks and this is a pretty thick glass too. So looks like it might be some good quality. So I'm gonna go with privacy. Uh, because my phone is 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 the, the titanium black and we're gonna go ahead and and get this thing installed real quick here real proper like all right so here's the phone so first thing I'm gonna do is all right, make sure that's good so it goes like that so I'm gonna get this open here I'm gonna clean it up so nine dollars folks for four tempered glass and too clear, too privacy. That's that's just a great deal. That's a great deal. So let's do the wet wipe first. Let's get this thing rolling here. I also bought a case too from Amazon. I could have reached out to OEMs and said, hey, send me something, but I just said, I ain't got time for it. I'm just gonna buy it real quick. They'll holler at me later on down the line if they wanna send me something. Uh, so yeah, this is a nice wet wipe, by the way. Some of them are not too good. They don't have a lot of moisture in them, but this one does. So now I'm gonna hit it with the dust removal tool, and then I'm gonna drop this on. So a lot of people uh, online, I shouldn't say a lot of people, I've seen online, that some people don't like the privacy glass because it has to keep the cutout on the top. And so that is not really a big deal to me because the front of the phone is, is dark anyway. It's a dark screen, so really doesn't matter to me. Let's pop it off one time, just hit this button here. I'm gonna go all along the edges. And we're gonna drop this privacy glass on here. One thing I like about privacy glasses is, you know, you get to, if it's bubbles in there, you really won't see them. <laughs> and they tend to just go away. Like all tempered glass, they go away. But the privacy glass, you can't see them right away. So that's a, that's a, that's a nice thing I like about privacy glass. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off. This is a really thick glass, by the way, folks. Really thick. And I'm just gonna drop it in. I'm gonna hit it down the center. Let us do its thing. I gotta release it. Looks like I got it. Oh, it's already on. Shoot. All right. Yeah, there's a few little bubbles over here. So I'm push them out. I can see the little little bubbles in here, but they they go away fast, man. And the cutout around the privacy glass area isn't an actual cutout. It's just clear right there which is a smart thing to do. Like you don't want to have your your phone not be able to see your camera and properly. Cause when you go matte glass or privacy glass and you got a camera on the front like that, it has to be clear like that. So you'll be able to use the functionality of those lenses. So I'm going to taste a uh, taste. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to test face ID here. Those bubbles are gonna, uh, they're pretty much all gone, but they're gonna, they're gonna release themselves in a little bit. So I'm gonna taste, test, <laughs> I wanna taste, I wanna touch, I'm gonna test Face ID. 
No, oh, gotta put the pin in. Alright. Yeah, it's working perfectly fine. Boom. That's the way you want it. So you get that privacy joint going on. Now we're gonna tilt. Boom. Yeah, you can't see me. Uh yeah, this is what I want. So now let's open up the camera and let's pop that front camera. Boom, crystal clear. Crystal clear. Let me take a photo real quick. Crystal clear. Crystal clear. No problems whatsoever. So touch sensitivity also is really good. I'm I'm bare bones right now. I'm naked. All I got is my um camera protectors on here because I don't typically wear, wear a case that much anyway but all I have is my camera protectors on there from in case and then I have this uh, privacy glass that I just bought so I think this is a really a really good set for four glasses for eight nine dollars or whatever plus the camera protectors if you like those kind of camera protectors I personally don't uh, I think this is nice yeah it's the good angle right there and you're good to go. The glass is perfectly clear on there too. Yeah, so the camera module and the, the face ID module, with those little those cutouts right there, they're just clear. So you'll definitely wanna make sure you line them up properly, <laughs> you know, use the cage, you know what I'm saying, to put it on. So it's really nice. I like it. I'm smoked out now. Yeah, it's good. I'll see you guys in the next video. Link to purchase down below. This is a win. Four tempered glass and a camera module for $9. Grab it just to grab it, folks. The privacy glass is where it's at, especially when you have a black phone. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.